75 degrees, 70 degrees, somewhere around there. It's a bit warm, but got a light breeze coming in. So, the wind's in my favor. I mean, it's coming from across the field over there, heading back there behind me. So, got the wind in my face. Hoping to see something out, coming out and feeding on this corn and really put in this pipeline. So, got some salt right down in there. And in this warm, hopefully they come in and hit the salt, so to make this happen tonight. We can put a big buck or a big doe, put some meat in the freezer, put some antlers on the wall, you know, and try and get this done. Hey. shaking. I knew there was a deer over there. So I got the camera on first. It took a while till you'll probably be able to see it on the camera because they're about 60, 70 yards out there by the corner of the cornfield. And first was the two little ones that came out. And uh, they came out, came up the hill a little bit. I can see them playing around. I can still see the corn stalks. It's like, no, there's a big one back there. Um, one little one came up and it was about 40 yards, 40, 45 yards or so, straight out in front of us over here, you should be able to see that, and uh, it was a little bit smaller than I wanted to take, so it looked like a little yearling, um, here we'll be on that, we usually try to keep the does at around two years or so, um, don't like to shoot the yearlings too much, I mean, we have a lot of some kids that hunt with us and all that, people in the family, um, They've never killed a deer before. I mean, they can shoot whatever comes along, get their first one out of the way. Uh, any small bucks, they can go right ahead. They can do whatever they want, shoot with any deer they want. But some of us more veteran hunters out here, we like to let the does mature, let the bucks mature, get some big mature bucks. So we kill quite a few off of, off our property over the years. So that's what we like to do. So now what I'm gonna do is, oh, that was a good hit. I'm gonna give her about. A half hour 
over, so. Let's uh, get dark by the time we get out of the stand, so. I might have to track her at night, so I'm not sure much of the track and I'll get on the video, so. I'll see what I can do from there. Alright, well, like I said in the video, it did get pretty dark last night when I went to go find her, so. Couldn't really do any recording with the camera. Uh, but as you can see, we found her. She only ran about 100 yards or so. And you can see it's a perfect shot right behind the front shoulder. So, I mean, she went down pretty quick. Yeah, and hope you guys like this video. We're trying to be the most unique hunting channel on YouTube. We're, we're not trying to be like the, all everybody else. We want to be something unique, different. Hope you guys like this angle, the 360 footage. Let us know what you think.